الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله The rights of the believers over the believers is so immense and so important and that's why the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned حق المسلم على مسلم خمس أو حق المسلم على مسلم ست كما رواه عنه في in another narration and along with those rights is respect and honor that the believer has to have a degree of respect and honor for his or her Muslim brothers and sisters and we're not talking about Ahla Bid'ah that this does exclude Ahla Bid'ah except in that in accordance with their deviation you still respect them as a Muslim they're still Muslim if, as long as they're in the fold of Islam but we're talking about in general something very important which is that which is between Ahl Sunnah and along with those rights and respect that even Ahl Bid'ah should not be backbitten to the extent to where one achieves sin, meaning that there should be a maslaha shari in speaking about an individual. If you're going to speak about this one or that one, there should be some sharia benefit. It's not just for the sake of entertainment. It's not just for the sake of just belittling them without attaining those sharia objectives of defending the sunnah and protecting and preserving the community from the harm of deviant individuals and ideologies and jama'at. <coughs> Along with that, ahabatifillah, or in relation to this, I want to mention one hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. An Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As, As radiallahu ta'ala عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال المسلم من سلم المسلمون من لسانه ويده والمهاجر من حجر ما نهى نهى الله عنه متفق عليه In this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم related to the topic at hand The hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr ibn As عنه, who said that the messenger of Allah or the Prophet وسلم, said the Muslim is the one who the Muslims are safe from his tongue and his hand and the Muhajir is the one who makes hijrah or leaves, abandons what Allah has prohibited for him. And this is in uh, Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith of the Prophet wasallam, the Prophet وسلم, said, the Muslim is the one who other Muslims are safe from his tongue and his hand. So that shows us that the minhaj or the methodology of groups like those extremist groups who curse and kill the Muslims and make takfir of them is not a Salim Muslim minhaj. Likewise, this hadith shows us the Prophet is a Muslim, meaning that does not mean that the one who doesn't do this is not a Muslim, but these are not befitting characteristics of the believer. This is the one whose iman is kamil, or is complete, or a high level of iman, because doing the opposite is sin. And he said that the muhajir is the one who leaves off what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. And so, al-hijra, or being a muhajir, does not mean just leaving off, leaving one land to another. But in fact, it also refers to leaving off sinfulness. That a person abandons those things which have been prohibited for him. 
These are just some of the benefits of this hadith, and we ask Allah Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam,